Hey guys, it's early in the morning. We shot up here. Try to get on this roof before the sun hits it. We are going to level up the rails first with a string. We've already squeegeed the roof off and dried it off so that we can work on it because a lot of time there's a good bit of moisture on the roof early in the morning. And um, we're going to level the rails and start mounting panels to try to get done with this pretty quick before the sun gets on the roof. Hope to show you some of it. Up each section of the rails and made sure that all the rails, this plane is level. Okay, that's going to give me a straight solar array. The other thing I've done is I've, I've mounted kind of like mounting batter boards, but I've mounted my string line on the edges of the array. So instead of trying to get these panels, I'm just ballparking it or trying to find something straight, I've made something straight on the roof. I know that this line is straight, and if I put the top edge of my panels up, and get get them starting to go you don't have to mount every all 32 panels to a string but once you get straight you can go but it's very very important that you start straight if the first panel is not straight the next panel will be straight on an array that's 20 feet long doesn't really matter you could probably get by and say that's just the way that tool does but on an array that's 60 feet long uh, an eighth of an inch out at the beginning translates into two or three inches out at the end just tell me when. All right, guys, so look at the panels. We're about halfway done mounting panels right now. We've got one full string connected. Solar installer pro tip number 342. Don't wait till you put all your panels up to check your strings and see if you've got good voltage. You go ahead and check it. Every time you get done with a string, you'll, you'll save yourself a lot of headache. If I got my combiner box open, got it on DC, take the negative, put it on the negative terminal. Start checking your leads. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. 146 volts DC. That is the open circuit voltage of this array right now. It's not that hot outside. And we gotta get back up there and mount some roof. Save yourself a headache. Check your voltage as you go. That way, after each string, you can just have somebody checking it. You know if you've made a mistake, you need to do it instead of thinking you're done and then realizing you committed a grave error. Guys, this is how I'm coming out of the wire transition here sure I'm gonna pick up some trolls on this one but this is what I'm doing there's my six bear and I'm transitioning to a stranded wire with a insulation got some snap and rack uh, wire management and then right here I'm going into a cord grip this is called a cord grip it's got a rubber gland specifically designed to bring PV wire into conduit makes a watertight transition got an LB right there it's all strutted up that's my way that I come on and off the roof. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Almost every time you exit the roof, it's different. But that's the main fitting I wanted to show you. It's called a PV wire cord grip. All right, guys. So all 12 of the 295 panels are up. And I know I can't teach you how to do battery solar from the Internet. But I can sure show you some stuff. And I hope that you picked up a couple of pro tips we're still going to do a couple more things we're going to come back and cut the uh, ends of the rails off and use the uh, under clamp but you can see that we did take the bow out of the roof and uh, it just fits just tight just perfectly and this last string what I've done here is I've got my strings like this I'm going back this I'm going back so they're four panel strings they were open circuit voltaging at about 145 volts, but that's probably down to about 120 now. And right now I've got two strings headed back through the combiner box. And they're going back to, through the combiner box and charging the batteries. And then the other string, I've got it coming all the way down. And you can see that I've got it coming all the way down and right now it's plugged into the hotspot. And in the wintertime, when he doesn't need to cool his food storage building, he'll plug it into there and send it back through that third breaker and send it back with the rest of the array. So we're pretty much done with the rooftop uh, portion of this job, and we're heading into the mechanical room tomorrow to start their teardown and rebuild of that. Thanks for watching. This is Johnny Valentine, Gain Solar. All right, y'all. Solar panels are up. And that little DC hybrid air conditioner, she's a running away. She's just a cooling away.